Welcome back to Channel Level and Triple M here, and today we're doing a quick comparison between Amazon Prime Video and Netflix. So these are two of the most popular video on demand services that's currently available, not only in the US, but across the world. So with this video, what I wanna do is compare the price and the plans, the user experience, the app data, as well as the device compatibility, personalization options, features, as well as the content comparison. So before we start in the comments, let me know which one you think is a better deal, which one you prefer using, and which one you currently have. Have. Of course, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so we all know that Netflix and Prime videos, uh, they are what I think is the two most popular video on demand services that's currently available. Um, both services uh, provide original shows, both have won numerous awards and both provide access to popular licensed programs that cycle through their catalog. So let's go ahead and we'll start with the price and plans. So the Amazon Prime videos we know comes with your Amazon membership, but if you guys didn't know, you can opt to just get the video portion without having a Prime membership. So with Netflix, there are different types of plans. Recently, they added the ad supported version, which not a lot of people are excited about. So with the basic with ads, you get one supported device at a time. Some movies and TV shows are unavailable and you also get unlimited gaming and you get to watch in HD. If you guys don't know, HD is 720p or 1080p. And the basic with ads is only $6.99. There's a basic which you get one device, unlimited movies and TV shows with games as well. Watching HD, ad-free shows and movies. You can download on one supported device. That's $9.99, the standard version. You get to watch on two devices, unlimited movies and shows. Watching HD, you get ad-free TV shows and download on two devices. And for the standard, we're looking at $15.99. And last but not least is the premium, which you get to watch on four devices, unlimited movies. Watching Ultra HD, which is 4K, ad-free shows and movies. And you get to download on four devices. So a lot of people are not excited about the ad tier because if you're paying for a service like this video on demand there shouldn't be ads but drop your thoughts let me know what you think it is coming in a lot cheaper than the other plans so as far as the prime videos most people think that prime videos is just a part of their Amazon Prime subscription, but you can also get Prime videos separately from your Prime membership where you get free shipping and other perks. So the Prime videos or Prime membership is $14.99 a month or $139 per year. If you opt only for the video portion, it's $8.99 a month. So they do also have some student discounts as you can see at $7.49 per month and $69 per year. So if you are a student with that .edu, you do have a cheaper price. So that's just a basic comparison there with Amazon Prime videos you don't have to pay extra you do get some titles in 4k so if you have a 4k compatible TV and you have 4k content in Amazon Prime you can watch it no extra charge and that's one of the main differences between that and Netflix so number of titles which I found surprising I always thought that Netflix just had a mother load more of titles than Prime videos but it does not. So uh, Netflix itself is gonna have 8,000 plus titles while Prime Videos is gonna have over 40,000 plus titles. So if you guys have been sleeping on Prime Videos, definitely go check it out. There's a lot of good content on there and I find myself using it a lot more, especially with everything that's going on with Netflix with the password sharing. Um, and that's a separate story for another day. Now, as far as the, the user experience, as two of the leading video streaming services in the US, the Prime Videos and Netflix share several functionalities such as multiple profiles and you can personalize your options. So Netflix has a sleek, nicely optimized user interface that's easy to use on several devices. So recently as well, Netflix did upgrade a user interface so if you guys remember the profiles at the startup page used to be left to right now they're on the left side of the screen which i personally like the old style better but let me know what you guys think in the comments section so amazon interface is more complicated less integrated uh, making browsing on overall navigation a little bit more difficult but the more you use it the more you get used to it uh, this may be because prime video is one of the numerous services housed within the amazon marketplace with netflix is a hundred percent vested on video on demand so as far as the device compatibility, both of them are pretty much gonna share the same um, availability. I haven't yet had a device, and I've gone through a lot of streaming devices, haven't yet had a device that really didn't support one of these streaming services, so I don't think that will be something to worry about. 
as far as your personalization, Netflix allows you to customize up to five profiles on one account. You can set parental controls on each profile. The service also permits you to limit available viewing options by requiring a special code to access certain types of content. So creating profiles with Amazon is a little bit more complicated. If you're a Prime member, you can link your membership with your significant other. Amazon household lets you share digital library and wallet. As a premium streaming service, Amazon Prime does not have DVR storage like Sling TV. Instead, you can download videos as you wish. So Netflix does not have a DVR either, but similar to Prime videos, you can download shows and movies for offline viewing. So my opinion, that works because you can always, if you're on a flight or you're going somewhere that's not gonna have internet, you can always download a show, watch it, and you can get rid of it when you're all done. Now, as far as the content, Amazon Prime Videos offers more titles while Netflix shines when it comes to original programming. So both streaming services have won multiple awards like we mentioned in the intro, but with Amazon Studios, you have uh, certain titles that's just standouts. You have Manchester by the Sea, The Salesman, and Netflix features titles such as Icarus, Roma, The Irishman, Stranger Things, The Crown, and The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. So a lot of those popular titles, just naming the name of it, you'll know which service they're from. So Netflix does tend to be a little bit slow when it comes to licensing your content, typically a season behind, while Amazon on the other hand gives you the option to rent or buy episodes of new content following initial broadcast. So the key word there is rent, which is gonna cost you a little bit more. An option not provided by Netflix, which I'm fine with that because I'm putting in money into a streaming service or a video on demand service. Last thing I want to do is buy more, but I get it when some of those new releases are available, you want to go ahead and get your hands on it. So again, let me know in the comment section if that's something that you use, you wait for those new series, and then you don't mind putting a little extra money to get it a little bit quicker. Amazon is a good bet if you're enjoying watching hard to find shows and movies. Amazon Prime Videos also provides access to several HBO shows like Deadwood, Succession, as well as The Sopranos and The Wire. So just to wrap it up, like I said, both streaming services, both video on demand services are pretty awesome. And while Netflix tends to shine when it comes to those original series, they do put a lot of money into getting some of the biggest uh, movie stars to come with some good content. And I'm not even gonna lie, Netflix does have a lot of exciting new content when you scroll through, normally you can find something to watch. I find that with Amazon Prime videos, I'll go in there and I'll search for what I want. Browsing doesn't grab the attention as much as Netflix would, but overall, which one I use more, I tend to use Netflix more. In the comment section, let me know which one you use more, which one you think is a more polished streaming service, and which one, if you had to keep one around, which one would it be? If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.